guys, I am dumb. I just realized it's not working because the extension cord that the power plug is plugged into isn't plugged into the wall. I used, I took the extension cord off and used it to plug in the camera. So, yeah, that's not working. Guys, welcome back. This is vlog number seven. Is that yes. right? So, what have we done since then, Matt? Well, I've completely finished the um, power um, main, the main power for the lighting. This is all working. We tested it. And it works. So, where does this plug into? This will plug into this wire right here. Okay. Which will be connected to the converter for the lights. Okay. Got get cracking opening right there. We go. Okay. So we gotta log in. I think, I think a good goal for like productivity's sake would be within like the next five or six days or the next few vlogs for you guys to have a working like lights, um, plates and stuff all combined into one because we're getting all the parts, the decoders, the lights and everything really shortly. Although we should be able to get those working just within a few, few vlogs. So that should be pretty sweet. So what I'm thinking right now is we have the lights, right? But this hat will not support the upgraded lights and we want something that we can just set on top of it and mount on top of it. And the screen holds in fine. Yeah. That's just because it's so tight. So I'm thinking instead we make a little plate for it to hold on. Imagine if the overhang was like this, so it's upside down. Okay, I got you. And then, yeah, that, it'll just sit onto an overhang. Okay. Okay, got Git Kraken installed. We gotta stage all the changes, just imported everything. Summary, I'm not very too descriptive with summary. Commit file changes. Ooh, and ready guys, push. Hey Matt, what are you doing? About to finish, actually about to finish making a little tabs on it. Not anywhere near about to finish the whole thing. So, so these little these. tabs. Yep. Right now I'm learning about pipelines. I don't know if these will be able to, I actually don't understand pipelines at all. Maybe I will learn about what pipelines are and then we can do a video on it. But my hope is that pipelines will help us like push our software to like the mainframe very quickly with like one button. I could be wrong though. After a little work, finally got it uploaded. Looks good. The readme file needs to be changed. But yeah. Matt's almost done here. He's got something to hold it. He needs to build something to hold in the side panels. And then also, what else? That's, well, put in holes. Put in holes, put and in holes, and then little clamps, yeah. So on the on the base mounting plate, we currently have most of the stuff, except for we need to add a hole through all of these. So I'll show you guys how we'll do one of those. So we're gonna start by just kind of selecting the plane. We'll create a sketch. We will slice it so we can actually see it. We'll put a circle there. The circle is 3.2 millimeters in diameter. So we'll make that 3.2 millimeters. Uh, 5.25 millimeters from the wall. And then we'll double check to make sure that that's the same on this side. It is. And then that is the sketch. And then we'll extrude that through. And there's the hole. And we'll do that on all of them. And that'll be the mounting holes. It's kind of cool. I actually got on to our tracker that is tracking the package that's coming. And I just clicked update me by text when it gets here. And I guess it's gonna send me an updated text when it gets here. We'll see. All right, so now we have all the holes in all the little tabs. And I also raised this whole plate right here that I have selected by I think 1.5 millimeters because that will be the same depth once we put in the slide in there to make it nice and smooth. To find the power supply for the demo computer that will run it, it has an extra GPU and this will run the mainframe. But not able to find it, so I took the one of these computers down here. I saw there was a power supply in there, and uh, got it out. I'm not sure if power supplies are the type of thing that they matter. I assume they matter to the type of cables, but I'm not sure what cables need to be plugged into this motherboard. Okay, so now I'm gonna try setting up this power supply. I'm not actually sure what needs to be connected here. I'm gonna assume this needs plugged in because this seems looks kind of important. I'm not seeing a good plug thing. Oh, right there, okay. Woo. There we go. Didn't hear it snap, but I guess it's in. The rest of these are PCI power slots. Oh, there is this though. That might be kind of important. We'll plug that in. It feels hot. 
Okay, we'll plug that in there, right? And then the rest of these are PCI, so I'm guessing the rest of these aren't very important. I'm not seeing any major power ports. So this might be ready to power up. Let's see if it's ready to go. So one of the big things is when testing this computer, we have a GPU, I'm sorry, the graphics card plugged in, and it has a DVI port, but since we're not sure it's gonna work, we're gonna pull that out because that may be a failure point when we test it. So now we've pulled the GPU out and what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this power supply in over here. I'm gonna set this graphics card out of the way and then we are also going to plug a VGA in there. We're gonna power this puppy on. How do we power it on again? There should be a button here. That obviously did not work. Okay. So don't know what's happening right now. We should probably get a power supply fan and plug it into there to see if we can see the power supply turning on. Oh wait, this might not be fully seated. No, nope, that's definitely fully seated. Yeah, it's not working. I am dumb. I just realized it's not working because the extension cord that the power plug is plugged into isn't plugged into the wall. I used, I took the extension cord off and used it to plug in the camera. So, yeah, that's not working. All right, so now we are completely finished. All I did since the last update was add in this main little area here that kind of shoots up into this that will support that side of um, wall for the base. Sounds so good. Go. So let's make that STL and start printing. Yep. We are not 100% positive this will, if this printer will successfully print. If it doesn't, we'll send it, well, we're gonna send it over to Matt's printer no matter what. And Matt, what'd you just get? Uh, what do you mean? The head, new head size. Oh yeah. I got a whole one millimeter um, nozzle that can print really fast. But it's gonna be very bad quality. Very bad quality, but it can seriously pump out some prototypes. Yeah. Okay, we got it plugged in and see, we got power to the monitor and it's plugged in over there. Um, it's still not working. So that's not good. I don't know what needs to be done to get it to work because the power supply we had, it did work. I just don't know where the power supply went. Yeah. Okay, so this power supply is probably not gonna work. I'm probably stupid and don't have something plugged in, but that's literally all the cables on this power supply. The rest are for hard drives and disk drives. So we are going to try to find the other power supply and we'll do that next time on the next vlog. Yeah. Okay, so we got it in Kura, Kira, whatever you want to call it, and it barely fits. So we're gonna put this, save this to the SD drive now. Whew, there it is. Boom, starting print. What do we do today, Matt? Well, we started out telling you guys we finished this, but that was a while ago. Yeah. Oh, we went over some of the parts that we got. Oh, true. Some yes, of those. we did. Oh, uh, we finished. I finished modeling the base mount plates. And, and that's printing right now. Yeah, printing. And if yep. that fails, because it barely fit on my bed, Matt we'll is send awesome. send it over to my printer, because mine's a little well, bigger. Well, hopefully you start one now, because hopefully. it's going to be not very high definition, yeah. but it'll be at least another print, yeah. just in case one of them doesn't line up. And then... What else? Oh, I uploaded a nitrogen dashboard oh, yeah. to GitLab. Yeah, we did get that done. Yeah. If you don't know what nitrogen dashboard is, well, it will be explained in another episode. But just quick, it's the control panel for yep. Infinity. And that, I think, I that's, think that's basically it. it. That kind of sums up this vlog, I guess. So, yeah. see you guys in the next one. With that, if you like game. this video, subscribe. If you yes, love this leave video, leave a comment. Give please. us an awesome comment. Let thumbs us up. Let know how we can improve things. It's always and nice. And subscribe. And subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.